Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of The Legend of Zelda The Minished Cap. So in the last episode we made it to the Minished Woods and uh, can I like get off this by chance? Okay there we go. Anyways, we're traveling through the Minished Woods here in search of the Pickery people. I somehow ran into an Octorok, that is embarrassing. Um, so yeah, it looks like we get the ability to swim later on. But, as you can see, it doesn't hurt you, you just can't go in it. And that almost looks like grass you can walk on, but it's not. Remind me to raise my shield next time I run into these guys. Just the buttons are a little out of whack. I might change that so, B, uh, so A is to use my uh, sword, and then B is to use my shield. But, as of right now, it's not a big deal. I just gotta play with my fingers in the right position. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you, yeah, you, you'll need fire for that, or magic, or whatever it's called. I'm not 100% sure what they call it in this game. Because, you know, certain games change. I would still, hang on, my fan is sliding off my shelf. Come on, fan, stop sliding off the shelf. Sorry, I ended up pressing the sword button there. Bloopers at the beginning of the video. I don't, I probably won't cut them out just because you guys love hearing bloopers. So... I think this actually leads us to the first dungeon in the game, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, let's travel. Ooh, it's getting dancing. Oh, what are those guys called? Um, I think they can electrocute you. Um, I need health. Oh, hey, Blubber Nugget. Rah, death to you. Death to you, death to you. I always forget what those guys are called. I'll remember, I don't know if there's a beast here in here, but... Okay, you're not, a get, you're not getting me this time, buddy. I need some health, so give me health. Apparently my fog's gone. Yeah, see these, you will be able to use stuff later on. As for right now... Yeah, see, you can't go through the little logs either. And this water, I think you... Yeah, the, the, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually drown in that later on. Hint, hint. You know, they were talking about the victory of people being a smaller race. You'll know why soon enough. Help! Help me! Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow! Ow! Help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, is that a heart container? You got a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. Yeah, and it also fully heals you, which is great news, and apparently there's water there that'll make me drown, so... Now, I'm always thinking we gotta go back this way. I think he was just up here. Uh, get to the fog. Because, you know, this is just fog randomly in one part of the forest. Hey, kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! <laughs> Looks like with the sinister music. It's Octorok's in. Phew! Well done, that was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Whoa, I see! The picker, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? That sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, um, so yeah. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Okay. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Ah, if it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind! 
My is quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See, there. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. Did you just call me hopeless, you godforsaken hat? Okay, whatever, buddy. Now, hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, oh, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pickery, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village, where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Okay, Hatman. R button, activate. Oh my god, it's singing. What is he? Like, where did this magical hat come from? Yay, we're like super mini. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Okay, do I still get to attack? Are you law? Oh, that, that sucks. Yay, now we can travel through the log. I can't roll through the log, though, apparently. Is this log anything important in it? Oh, yay, we can... Really, game? I, I clearly stepped on the lily pad, but no. Or leaves, or whatever the frig it is. But you had to say no. Ooh, is this the village? Da, 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 da. Giant acorns and leaves and everything is so big. Apparently, you can't roll off screen. Hey, we met the diminished village. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish village. I didn't, I didn't go. Oh god. Little elves. Pico Picori! Rippy Rippico Picori! Picoco Picoco Rippico! Oh my god. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Oh yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Yeah, right. Well, that's usually what we do in Zelda games, isn't it? Uh, what about you? Pico, Ricky, Poco, Tic Poco. Um, I think we can do something with those. Oh yeah, those are just breakables. <laughs> um, judging that these guys in the way. Won't help us, we gotta look for somewhere that might help us. Oh, heart. We haven't really picked up very many rupees yet in this game. It's kinda sad, actually. I don't know what. Wait a second, there's a house on this dock, apparently. This looks like a big guy's place, right? Sounds like. Is that like King Picker? Uh, King Pickery? I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the abbey as well as the shrine to the north. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You can use 
use a jabberknot, it will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Well, thanks, buddy. Uh, typical village music. I really like the Minish Village music. It's very peaceful. They said south of here, right? The barrel house just south of here. This one? I guess we just can't go in any homes. So we gotta look for a place south of here, known as the Barrel House. So... Is it your place, by chance? I don't think it's in the village, though, so... I think we actually gotta leave. The music right here is really... starts out kinda creepy. Then it goes to being really peaceful. Okay, they said south of here, right? I don't really know where that would be, but... Uh, maybe up here? Um, let's go and see. I don't think you can cut through the big grass, though. So, where... Can we actually check our map? A strange nut that will allow us to understand the Minish language. The Jingle Nut, did he say? No, no, that's not it. I remember now, it was the Jabber Nut. That's what it was. Come on, my boy, we've got to find the Jabber Nut. Yeah, yeah I, I know that. Um, let's see here. Um, Barrel House, Barrel House. I don't know. Hang on, get off that for a minute. We gotta go find the, uh, the Jabber, the Jabber House. The Barrel Nut, or Barrel House where the Jabber Nut is only cow. I'm getting tongue-tied on what the heck I'm talking about here. Man, it's like so sensitive when you go on these little lily pads. It's ridiculous. So I don't know if... Okay, I want to go back to the uh, little village elder person there. And uh, just talk to him about the place. Okay, I guess we're looking for... Oh, there it is. It's just a giant barrel. So we gotta look for a jabber nut. Oh, I'm assuming you're the jabber nut, sir. Oh, Sola. This must be the jabber nut Fistari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the jabber nut. Now you can un Okay. That was like extremely simple. What are these? Trust you. So what do you have to say, little boy? Little it? Uh, yeah, I've eaten the jabber nut and I can understand us. The elders that humans can no longer see. Ah. But Link's not human, is he? Kingstone. Ah, do it in secret, eh? I never heard of this Kingstone. Is that like, uh, King's Rock in Pokemon? Okay, does the elder tell us anything else now? So if we eat the jabber nut, and now you can understand us? Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the elder can help you. So you're not the elder. Okay, you're some preacher doofus. Sorry, I know if I tell religion, but this guy looks kind of like a doofus. A pompous doofus. Um, uh, assuming it's not the strange little dudes that just run around. Um, village elder, maybe in the mushroom bill. Ah, old man. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezra. This child is Solar. We need to break a curse that has been cast upon the princess of Hyrule. So, we need to reforge the broken Vickery blade. Ah, yes. And you will come here now? To have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade will these energies... With these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. So, one is here in the forest, and the fire one's way up in the top right, top left. The 
water element looks like it's above us, and the... I don't know what the wind element... The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Okay, so the purple one is the earth element. Which is exactly what we need to do. Is to get the earth element. So we have to go back to Festari. Uh, our pompous doof is up here. And I'm hoping we didn't have to come see this guy again. Ooh. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it's quite dangerous. Okay. I assume it's right here. Oh wow, it's actually pretty big. Uh, I just want to look around first for stuff. Oh, it doesn't really matter, it can't go anywhere. Sure. The Deep Wood Shrine. So this would be the Deep Wood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He... He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Uh, yeah, so I think this is a perfect spot to end the video. So in the next part, we will explore the Deepwood Shrine. See you guys all next time for more Legend of Zelda Minish Cap.